but you continue to work for Danger, and yeah. Charles Russell was brought in as a producer. Tell me a little bit about him, because he became very uh, Russell important. Russell had started out as an actor. He had been an actor briefly in Hollywood. He had appeared in a few movies, but he was not a very good actor. He was very wooden as an actor. He didn't like being an actor. He's a big, good-looking kid from Tarrytown, New York, or someplace like that. Uh, worked as an usher at the music hall and then hitchhiked to Hollywood and got himself a little contract in movies. And he came back, after he quit being an actor, he came back to New York and got a job on uh, uh, on some movie show, I think it's a television show on CBS, on the, on the floor as a floor manager or something like that. And was very good at it. And then as shows began, he got to be... I think assistant to Marty Ritt on Danger, and then when Marty left, he became the producer. He was, he was wonderful. I mean, it was a uh, uh, a very happy combination of writer, director, producer, because uh, Russell himself was not creative particularly, but he had great taste. He had wonderful taste, and uh, he worked very, very well with. Sydney the, as the director and uh, uh, and with the writers he you know he knew when something was going off or when something was not right and uh, so he was the best kind of producer so when he found out that you were blacklisted and you had to use a pseudonym how did he react to that how was he well he his his as I say he was uh, totally non-political himself he really didn't I mean every time he would hear Polanski and Manoff and I talking politics, his eyes would roll up in his head, you know, he would just wait very patiently for us to finish with this nonsense and get back to what was important, which is doing the show. And, uh, uh, but he felt it was wrong. I mean, he was a thoroughly decent, decent man, you know, and a courageous man because if it had been known that, uh, you know, he was uh, doing, you know, using blacklist, but he would have gotten fired. His career would have been over. And, uh, you know, he didn't, he wasn't political as we were. I mean, we knew what we were doing and uh, uh, took that risk. But, uh, uh, you know, he, but he stuck his neck out, you know, and, and uh, he felt the whole thing was, was wrong and, and uh, he wanted to do what he could, you know, to help it.